In this lesson, I will be going over how to install Mirth and the Mirth Administrator Launcher on a Windows machine for local development. The process should be pretty similar for Mac and Linux machines, but if you have any difficulties, you can always use Mirth's official installation guide. Now, I will clarify most of this lesson uses 3.11, but I will be installing the latest version, which is 4.4.2. But the Mirth components persist the same for the most part through different versions of the software. However, if you'd like to download 3.11, you can download that in their archive downloads. Now to get started with Mirth is pretty simple. We can download Mirth by going to the nextgen.com website and navigating to their Mirth Connect download page. Here you can see the download of all the latest versions as well as previous versions of Mirth Connect. And those are down at these archive download link. So this download page includes three applications. Mirth Connect, and this is a service that we will get downloaded and run to get started. Mirth Connect command line interface. And this allows us the ability to control Mirth using the command line. And I won't go into detail with the command line interface, but know you can download it here. And the administrator launcher. This allows us the ability to launch multiple instances of Mirth without having to navigate to different links within our web browser. It also prevents us from having to download each individual Mirth Connect launcher. So let's go ahead and download the Mirth Connect Windows installer. So I'm going to download the 64-bit installer. Now once the download is complete, we can double click the Mirth Connect installer and we'll open that file. Now a window popped up to set up Mirth Connect. So let's click Next and you can accept the agreement. And then we'll click Next. And then we're just going to set this up in the default path that it gives us. Click Next. Now we won't have a license key for Mirth, but we won't need that to get started. The license key gives you the ability to install different extensions and plugins that NextGen has developed. So let's click Next. And let's select the Mirth Connect Server, Mirth Connect Server Manager, Mirth Connect CLI, just so you can have it on your machine, and the Mirth Connect Administrator Launcher. And let's click Next and we won't have any extensions to load but if you had any extensions you could browse and add them here for now we'll just click next and we'll add a start menu folder but you don't need to if you don't want to next we can set the ports we want our Mirth instance to run on our machine I found that we can just leave them at their default ports 8080 and 8043 however if you have any applications blocking these ports then you can change them so let's click next and we'll keep the password requirements as default and we'll keep the data paths default this is where you can find all your app data that Mirth generates and also the logs and we'll click next and we'll click install service and then we'll click next So once it's complete, then we can check Run Mirth Connect Server Manager so we can start Mirth. So finish. And it might take it a minute to bring the server manager up, but once it's ready, you should see an icon in your system tray. So we can go down to our tray and you can see an MC icon. You can right click this to get quick options on what you want to do with the Mirth install. So we can start, stop, and restart Mirth Connect. And you can also launch your administrator or close out the manager. You can press Show Manager to see all the different options. Maybe your server port, your database, and some info. So our Mirth Connect is already started, so we don't need to fool with the server manager. So we'll just press OK. Now we can navigate to our web browser again. Now we can type in localhost 8080. So this is going to take us to the default Mirth web page so we can download the administrator. And the administrator is where we get to create, edit, and deploy our channels. So we can see a few options on this screen. We can launch the Mirth Connect administrator or we can download the administrator launcher. I'll go over the administrator launcher in a minute. 
but we can click on launch Mirth Connect Administrator to download our administrator and log on to it. Now if you know there is a gear icon right next to the button. This is used for the heap size you want your administrator to run. I typically set this at 1 gig, but it doesn't necessarily matter what you choose. So let's click launch Mirth Connect Administrator. And this is going to download your web start. So open, and then I'll open the file. And it's going to start an application, and we'll just click run, and we'll click run again. Now this popped up with our login for our Mirth Connect administrator. The default username and password is admin as the user, and admin as the password. Now once we log in, we can change our admin password to something more secure. Now you can change your password to anything you want, and then confirm your new password. You you only need to do this on your first login for Mirth, so I'll just set my name and my email. And now I'll just say personal for organization. And we'll click finish. And now we can see that we've opened the Mirth Connect administrator. And it gives us some notifications about maybe some releases and some different uh, notifications for Mirth. So you can close that, and then we'll go over the Mirth Connect administrator in the next few courses. But first, let's look at the Mirth Connect administrator launcher. So now, what if we have multiple instances where we're running either a local machine or some machine either on the cloud or on site? This is where the administrator launcher can come in handy. We can save multiple instances paths and their settings so we can launch it rather quickly. So let's go ahead and download the launcher. Now if you downloaded Mirth and installed it, then it may have prompted you already, but if not, then there's multiple ways we can download it. If you already have an instance, then navigate to its web address, localhost 8080, where I'm at right now, and click on Download Administrator Launcher. So this is going to download our Administrator Launcher. Now you can also go back to the NextGen's website and download it on their Downloads page. So it's going to be under this Administrator Launcher and then pick whichever operating system you're on and install the installer. So we'll go back and we'll open the launcher. Now we can click next and accept the agreement and then next and then after reading the launcher information click next and we'll just download it at the default location which is on my C drive. We'll click next Now you can select which open JDK versions to download. I'll just keep both and click Next. I'll create a start menu and click Next. And then click Next for the Java network launching protocol. Then it'll download your launcher. Now after it's downloaded, click Run Mirth Connect Administrator Launcher and click Finish. Now it pulled up our Mirth Connect Administrator Launcher and it already has our address. Now we can save this off, save as, I usually call this local machine. Press OK. Now this is where we can select the different settings. There's a max heap size, just like we had on the browser. So I'll click one gigabyte. And then I'll click save, so it saves to my settings right here. Now there's two ways we can launch the administrator. You can click this launch button or you can click this icon. Now before I click launch, I'm just going to set this as Java 8. We'll launch. And this is going to spit us out at the login page for our Mirth Connect administrator. So I can type in my username and password, click login. And we should be able to see the Mirth Connect Administrator now. Great.